What's up, peoples? This is your boy, Tony Solo. Just talking about... What does it mean to be a nice guy versus a masculine man? In many of my videos, you guys hear me talk about stop being so nice. Stop being too nice. Stop being such a nice guy. And in other of my videos, you hear me talking about masculine men are like this. I was going to say masculine women. Masculine men are present. Women love men who radiate masculinity because it pulls out the most feminine part of them. You hear me talk about these two terms all the time, masculine and nice guy. And what I'm doing in this video is just bring clarity to you guys on why I talk about these two so much. Because this is what I believe that every guy is. Every guy in this world, to me, once started out as a nice guy and he moved to a masculine man, radiating masculine aspects and stillness. Now you have some guys where they say they start out natural, yeah, that may be the case, but to really be masculine, to really radiate the masculine aspects, to really be still, that's something you must train. That's not nothing you're born into. You're not born into stillness. Well, you actually you are, but you're not born into knowing exactly what it means to be aware. You just are awareness before you, people start taking you away from it. Me, in my video that's coming out on the Natural Lifestyles channel, I will be talking about my life's journey. My journey of being a man that was nice in many ways, that had these nice guy ways of being, but let it go and start allowing. And when I start allowing, that's when, so to speak, masculinity came through. See, any guy that starts off natural, he may be very good, very, very good at putting on the behaviors that he know that women respond to. Just like me, I started off natural. If you guys don't know, I started off natural in many ways. You know, you gotta be looking forward to my life's journey video in seduction for you to really know how much I was natural and still am natural in many ways. I never started out as a guy who wasn't good with women, but underneath some of the aspects that I needed to be a man who was really grounded, I didn't have those things. So being, so something I learned from that journey is being natural doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. When it comes to a man's happiness, being natural means nothing when you don't know what it means to be still. It means absolutely nothing because you can get pussy your whole life and still not be a happy man. I can guarantee you there's many men out there, many men who can get pussy but are not happy. There's many nice guys out there who definitely get pussy from the wrong women, of course, women who take control of them but that are not happy. As well as there's a lot of, a lot of fucking naturals out there who can get pussy at, at, at literally whenever they want, better than me and all the guys you see in the community. But at the same fucking time, are not really happy in their core. They're lost. They don't know how to express their heart. They're really good at being able to put on the show and do the song and dance, but they're not that good at really being still, being present to life. Yes, they're more relaxed, absolutely. They're definitely more relaxed. But to really be a man that's actualized, a man that really knows himself at a deep level, it's not just about the journey of pussy, pussy, pussy. That's just a part of it. 
So I never stopped being natural. Many guys do not understand my infield. My infield looks very different than any man out there that you'll see. It's because I have natural ness in me as far as when it comes to women. I can naturally just vibe with a woman. It's so easy for me. The things that I had to learn over time was leadership, learning how to lead because my dad never taught me that. I never seen my dad as a good leader. Learning how to be totally present to a woman when I'm in front of her with my whole self. These are the things I wasn't taught. I wasn't taught these things. When I was a natural, I didn't know these things. I mean, so I, I like to say when I, when I was natural, I meaning like when I was just able to attract women without the knowledge of how I was doing it. That gets naturalness out of the way. I mean, like that's the place we always want to come to as men, but that gets that whole thing of, I just want to be the natural. I'm like, yeah, you want to be the natural, but what is the natural? I was natural. I mean, like, I started off just being able to have sex with women, and I never, ever once in my life thought I would never have women in my life. But my happiness was at stake. For yourself, you want to see, all right, am I somebody that wants to strive to be a natural? I want to strive to be natural. I'm like, great. Strive to be natural, but understand what that striving is. The striving, that very act of you trying to be natural, makes you unnatural. So how does this tie back to nice guy versus what it means to be a masculine man? Being a nice guy is a natural thing. Being a man who wants to be nice to women is natural. It's very natural in all men, I feel. We want to be nice to women. We want to be nice to people. We want to be somebody that makes other people feel good because they were around us. There's nothing wrong with that. But where does the issue come in? Where does the issues lie when it, when it comes to being a nice guy? Where does, it, where does it lie that we want to be masculine, but at the same time, we can't get out of the niceness? It's because we've been given only one side of the coin. Being given one side of the coin makes you become attached to that one side. So many guys who are nice guys, they're just attached to all the nice behaviors that they put out because in some way, they, that has given them satisfaction. Maybe, it, maybe it, not, it may not be the satisfaction that they want, but it was enough for them to go, okay, this is, this is good enough. Okay, if I just act this way, this is okay enough. This is, this is good enough. I'm, you know, I'm getting people to validate me. I'm constantly you know, allowing people to know that I'm a man that's not somebody that's mean. You know, I'm not like those guys in school, those jocks. I'm not, I'm like anybody. I'm a nice guy. And we become very just foggy to just knowing what masculinity is because I feel like on the other side of that coin, is masculinity. It's a side that many men are afraid to flip over and see and notice and allow. Because once they start allowing that, it goes against all their two nice guy ways. Keyword two nice guy ways, because when I say nice guy, I don't mean that's a bad thing. I will never mean that, because being nice is not bad. But being too nice is absolutely something that's against you. You're going against your nature all the time when you're being too nice. When you're being, when you're being a guy that's so fucking just accommodating, a guy that's just always wanting everybody to be okay. You're always wanting people to look at you in a certain light. You always want that. That is your need. That's when it's wrong. That's when it's fucking against you. That's when you're not happy at all. 
So nice guy versus masculine man. The one thing that I want you guys to understand is that you're both. You're both a masculine man and you're a nice guy. You're both. It's not one without one without the other. The only reason why I say nice guy and masculine man is so you guys can have a distinction. That's it. So you guys can be able to distinguish between, okay, what is this and what is this? But the truth is that they're both in the same, they're, they're both who you are. <clears throat> they're both who you are, absolutely. But will you get to notice that? Will you get to notice that at the same time that I can be incredibly present to someone, I can be nice at the same time? It's not about being present to someone and not being nice. It's about being able to be present, totally present with your whole self and be nice at the same time. Not overly nice, but be nice at the same time. It's about being able to be nice to yourself by expressing something in a certain moment that you need to. And one moment, maybe you want to express truth. And being nice to yourself is expressing truth. Because when you don't express truth, what happens is you start to feel that you're out of alignment. You start to feel like, fuck, I'm not happy right now. When, when you want to express anything, the satisfaction will come from expressing that. But you must be nice to yourself to express that. Being nice, too nice to others makes you stop expressing that because you go, okay, I know right now if I express that I don't like this thing, then I know what will happen from that. This person won't feel good about that and they'll start to be angry at me or think that I'm an asshole and if they make me feel that then that will play into the fact that I actually believe that that, that part of me is in some way a fear of being told that I am that how do women respond to this though how do women respond to a nice guy and a masculine man as, as, as one person how do, how, I can answer it. How do women respond to me? Women are incredibly turned on by me when I'm in their presence. Incredibly turned on. So, so turned on because I'm still when I'm in front of a woman. Even when I'm moving, I'm still. Like I told you in my old video, Masculinity in itself, or the, or the masculine energy is stillness. When I'm in front of a woman, and I say to her, would you like to have a coffee right now? The energy that's coming behind that is totally masculine. Guys think that just because I say, would you like to have a coffee, that that's not masculine. They're like, masculine is only just taking the leadership, just like not asking and just doing. And that's a very jaded way of looking at it. At the same time, I'm being nice to myself. I mean, like, I don't always have to be in this place of just like having to assert myself in a certain way. Because masculinity is not a thing where it looks like this and that's it. I think guys believe that masculinity looks like this, and if it's not that, that I, that I believe that it looks like, then it's nothing else. Saying to a woman, would you like to do this, or uh, this is a good place over there, would you like to go there? They'd be like, fuck man, why didn't you just say, let's go? And I'm thinking to myself, you are both a guy that's incredibly feminine and masculine together. So why would you ever want to just be one-sided? Being nice is totally good. Being masculine is totally good. You being both is absolutely the combination that's beautiful. Then of course, you know, if I want to get deeper with you, you, you being both feminine and masculine is the best combination you'll ever become. 
But how do women like this? How do women respond to being nice and at the same time being masculine? How do they like to respond to it? Let me give you something else. You walk up to a woman and you say hello. And you feel yourself going into this mode where you're trying to just talk and not shut up. Where you're worried about running out of things to say because you think that you'll lose the woman's attention. Or you run out, or you want to run out, you worried about running out of things to say because you're nervous. In this moment, you have walked up to the woman and you're talking to her. And as you're talking to her, you're giving her the chance to know that you like her. You find her attractive. Just that alone, a woman would go, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that feels so good. This guy, he's just, he's such a nice guy. I love it. But it's when you stay alone that track, when you start over complimenting her, it's when you start, it's when you stay there and you're doing things that you don't want to do. You're saying things you don't want to say out of nervousness, out of fear. This is when the woman will start to lose interest. But this is where, why well, I say you're both nice and you're masculine. Stillness. You say something nice and you feel yourself getting nervous and you feel like, fuck, I should say something else. You allow yourself to become still. Because in becoming still, you play out the polarity in the moment. Because a man telling a woman compliments over and over and over, if it's from the wrong place, or from the place of just like, oh man, I just want to appreciate her and just be nice about it, then it'll feel good to her. She'll love it. But if that's the only mode that you go into, then you become the nice guy because she knows that, fuck, he's only being nice so he can get something. But a man that's truly masculine, he will never want anything, he will never need anything from a woman. So as you become a masculine in front of her, you'll begin to just not try to fill the gaps. You'll be totally okay with the fact of losing her attention in a moment. It is you learning that when you're with a woman, it is absolutely okay for you to be nice to her, but if that's the only mode that you're gonna ever be in, she's gonna lose interest. Because she won't feel truth coming from that. She won't feel the base underneath. The base is stillness. She won't feel that. It's so totally okay for you to be masculine in front of a woman. But if your masculinity becomes jaded, that you believe in that you have to be a certain way, that you have to be, hey, like this, do like this, do like this, do like this, and that's your only way of operating. Let's go here, let's do this. And that, that's, you never, ever want to get out of that way of operating. You are still all the time. You're trying to be totally present to her, and it's too intense then she'll know that you need to relax a little bit and she won't feel comfortable around you. Being masculine is amazing. Being nice is amazing. One is not without the other. If you really want to know your natural state, your natural state as a man is a man that's nicely masculine. <laughs> if you want to think about it. <laughs> really. But I'm talking to a woman, I'm I'm just nice to her. I'm totally nice to her. I am. I love being nice to her. I do. Totally nice. But at the same time, I won't try to fill the gaps. At the same time, I won't try to overextend myself so that she can feel a certain way. So I can get validation in some way for my overextended behavior. Being a nice guy, being masculine, you're both. That's the thing of the video. You're actually both. It's just you can have a jaded view of masculinity and you can have a overextension in nice guy behaviors or being nice, being nice. You can overextend it and you can have a jaded view of masculinity which makes you come across as a jaded man. But you have to choose in yourself that 
you know what? It's okay for me to be nice and sweet and, and lovely to women, but it's not okay for me to do that be, so they can make me feel a certain way. It's not okay for me to do that so that the woman can feel that I'm a way that feels lack on the inside, that I'm that way that feels lack on the inside. And at the same time, it's totally okay for me to be still, totally okay for me to lead a woman, totally okay for me to not put up with a bullshit and say no at moments and stand up for what I believe in. Like, it's, it's, to it's totally fine for me to do these things, but when I do that as one way of operating and I believe that being nice is fucking bullshit, that's when it's not effective. So what, ha what has this video brought me to? It's brought me to you guys' journey. If you feel like you're a nice guy, your journey is to stop overextending. That is your journey. Because the moment you stop overextending, you become masculine. If you say, I'm a masculine man and I fucking know what I want and I, and I do what I want and I fucking go out in the world and, and, and I fucking make shit happen and, and I can lead a woman. But at the same time, you have a jaded view and you believe that is the only thing that masculine means, your journey will be to understand what it really means to be still. to have that as a base. As a man, you have to understand that you are both nice. You are a nice guy, but at the same time, you are also masculine. You are a masculine nice guy. It is not my duty to get you away from being a nice guy. Because when guy, when, when people, when girls say nice guy, when, when guys say he's a nice guy or anything like that, they're just meaning that fuck, he's being too nice, he's letting people walk all over him. Of course he is, because he's overextending himself. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> when people's like, oh, this fucking dude, he's fucking so masculine, he's this and this and this. What they see is a guy who looks very brooding. They see a guy who walks in a straight line. They see a guy who has his head held high and he walks around and he fucking, you know, don't take shit from people. That is a jaded view. Yes, that can represent what masculinity can be for a woman or a man. But true masculinity is not that. If a guy's just putting that on, immediately I'll see that it's a facade. Immediately I'll see it. Your journey is not to try to be that or the overextension of niceness. It's to be masculine and nice at the same time. This is why I'm coming out with a product called From Nice Guy to Masculine Man. And then a product I always bring you back to is not about getting away from your nice guy behaviors. It's about being able to understand where are you doing too much and where do you need to stop. And in that stopping, you'll become masculine in the way that you want to and women will respond to you in a very different way than they are right now. Women respond to men who are nice but at the same time who are still and who at times when needed can lead who can express truth at times when needed, who can stand up for what they believe in at times when needed, who can be able to say no to her at times when needed, who's willing to walk away because he doesn't need her at times when needed. That's his overall operation, but he's so willing to be nice to her. He's so willing to tell her sweet things. He's so willing to tell her she's beautiful and that the way that she thinks is incredibly interesting and really meaning it from the depth of his heart. You're both.
whether you like it or not, you'll come to it. Once you start really going out there and interacting with a lot of women and having many women in your life, you'll start to understand why I say you're both. So, until next video, this is your boy Tony Solo for The Natural Lifestyle saying, I have a video coming out. Sorry, I have a product coming out. <laughs> And that is June 23rd, the same day as our masculine conference. If you guys don't know about it, we have a conference that we're speaking at here in Budapest. And it closes in two days, I believe. And at the same time, I want to tell you that after June, I'll be doing a, a tour around France and America and Australia. And in that tour, I'll be doing conferences much like the one you're going to come to if you are coming or if you're not coming to where I'll be doing seminars to just helping you guys understand this transformation from nice guy to masculine man. Be looking forward to that. Without further ado, I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new and it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon the approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.